we want to draw the bending moment diagram for this structure. At A, we have a fixed support, and at E, we have a pin end, which means that the moment at E is going to equal zero. Now, we also have horizontal force at A of four kilonewtons acting to the right, and at E, we also have a four kilonewton force, this time acting to the left, because they're equal and opposite since the truss is in equilibrium. So, let's start drawing the bending moment diagram from point E to D, so across the column DE. We already know that moment at E is zero, so we want to find the moment at D. Basically, like, if you make a cut in the beam, the moment at the top of um, D, at the top of the corner. So, this force would generate a moment at the top here this way, so clockwise. And to counteract this, we have to do a moment that will counteract it. So a moment acting this way. So the moment acting this way is going to be force of four kilonewtons times by the distance of four newtons. So the force here is going to be 16 kilonewtons, and we can draw this on. Um, which side is going to be under tension? This side, to the right of the beam. So we draw a bending moment diagram to the left, to the, to the right. If the left side of the beam was under tension, we would have drawn our bending moment diagram to the left. So, um, purple, no, green. So moment at uh, E is zero and moment at D looks like this. So we said four meters times four kilonewtons means 16 kilonewton meter moment at D. Okay, now, um, at point D, if the moment is 16 kilonewton towards the end E, it's also going to be 16 kilonewtons to the end at B, because the st structure is in equilibrium. So here we will also have 16 kilonewtons. But now, Let's look and see what the moment is going to be at this end, because it's not going to be 16 anymore. Because here, we also have across member AB, not only 16 acting here, but also um, a moment of 5 kilonewtons acting this way. So, um, This is the moment here, like we said. So there'll be an equal and opposite one here. So then equal and opposite one for this one would look like this. And another one here would look like this. So let's draw these, these on. We said one like this, one like this, so they cancel out because the truss is in equilibrium. This one and this one, and also these ones are in equilibrium too. Okay, so we have moment at BA acting this way and moment at BA acting this way. So we have to subtract them, and in this case, we're going to do 16 minus the moment of 5. So we get 16 minus 5, 11 kilonewton meters acting at point B.
this means that also here because it's at the same node B we will also have 11 kilo newton meters because it's in equilibrium so looking at this um, column and at this column we know that the moment here was zero so we just join them like this um, but this time the moment here at A is not zero the moment is five so we have to draw the moment five but on which side are we going to draw it this side or this side the side that is under tension and looking at imagine this is the beam the column and this is the moment acting this side is going to be under compression and this side under tension so we draw our five kilonewton meters to the right side of the beam so up to here so five kilonewton meters and then we can join them up there will also be a zero crossover somewhere in the middle and then we finish drawing it like this okay now um, last thing to draw is for the beam at the top we can't just join ends B and C like this because we have a uniformly distributed load which means we'll have a parabolic shape for the bending moment diagram. So let's find what the moment would be at mid span like this. So we, here we'd have 11 plus um, 16 over 2. So we'd have uh, 27 over 2. So we'd have 13.5 kilonewton meters at mid span on the beam but um, the moment at mid span due to the uniformly distributed load let's draw it here would look like this oh let's use the pen We'd use this formula because we have two um, ends like this and a dis uniformly distributed load. So we get 80 kilonewton meters at mid span. Now, this 80 kilonewton meters, we're going to have to subtract from the 13.5 kilonewton meters because they both at point B so we just superpose them so if we do 13.5 minus 80 because this one's going downwards from the original point here where it would have acted we are left with 66.5 Kilo Newton meters. So let's draw it on here. Well, minus sixty-six point five kilonewtons. And when we join it up, we have a parabolic shape due to the uniformly distributed load. And So this is what our bending moment diagram looks like.